My name's Ted Savage, and I'm surviving indoors. <sighs>survival extraordinaire Ted Savage we're gonna ask him some questions about survival and about our hunt for the Sasquatch as we've been hunting the Sasquatch this winter come really close to apprehending him to tying him up to hog tying him and throwing him in the back of our rig but we're not quite there yet but it'll happen you just got to believe it'll happen. But it'll happen. You just got to believe it'll happen. Ted, how's it going? What are we doing here, Ted? Just playing a little survival game. Surviving indoors. You're surviving indoors. How do you do that, Ted? Play some, some epic Minecraft. Some Minecraft. Are you on survival mode on Minecraft? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. We're indoors. We're indoors with Ted Savage. What are you doing here? What are you doing here in the indoors, Ted? I'm playing some survival in the indoors. You're playing some survival, Ted. Right. What kind of survival does Ted Savage play when he's indoors? Minecraft, because there's nothing else to play. You're playing Minecraft, Ted. That's right. Are you telling me you're on survival mode in Minecraft, Ted? That's exactly what I'm saying. So, Ted, tell me. Is there a correlation between survival techniques used in Minecraft and real Survival techniques used in the wild. Yes, there is. In the wild, if you're going to build a bear, wild. you need some wood, in the wild. you need strength, in the and then tree. you need some arrows. And in Minecraft, that's exactly what you need to get to make an arrow. Okay. That's excellent, Ted. So what, are you, what you're saying is, and if, that, if that's the boys and girls at home watching us would to go... Put Minecraft on the game system and play Minecraft. They would actually be acquiring survival skills that they can use in the wild. Is this the case, Ted? That's exactly the case. Fascinating. So here we are with the legendary survivalist himself, Ted Savage. And we're playing Minecraft and Ted is surviving. Ted is surviving on the Minecraft game. Using skills that he has acquired in real life and surviving out in nature. Except here it's Minecraft nature. Tell us, Ted. What are some of your favorite moments playing Minecraft? Well, there was this one time when I was playing with an online player, and he was right on the edge of a cliff. Then I hit him with my bow, my bow and arrow, and then he went flying right off that cliff. Could that happen in real life, Ted? Look it! Yes, that's exactly what would happen in real life. 
Hey. It's well, a kind of Isaac hey, Newton, Conley. Newtonian science kind of falling, you know, gravity cause and effect. That kind hey. of thing. You'll... All right, Ted Bear, as you know, we've been looking for the mighty Sasquatch. Are there Sasquatches in the Minecraft game, Ted? No. No Sasquatches in this game. There's no Sasquatches in Minecraft, I see. Has to be. Well, what say ye about the Sasquatch that we've been hunting for, Ted? Well, as you know, for years and years, people have been trying to catch him. And they haven't been successful at that. The only difference between <laughs> me and that... Is that we all said savage and all can find him. So we're gonna track his ass down. We're gonna catch him, run him over with the hood of our car, pull him onto the hood of the car, we're gonna bring him home. So what you're saying, Ted, is that you plan to catch that Sasquatch, is that right? That's exactly right. How serious are you, Ted, about finding this Sasquatch? Very serious. Very, very serious. Might you say that you're seriously serious about finding the Sasquatch? I am taco serious about finding the Sasquatch. Wee! Taco serious, Ted. Taco serious. That's like serious <laughs> to the tenth degree. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's how serious I am about finding in the Sasquatch. It's a this and this and this I think and I'm feeling sorry for that Sasquatch because I think his days it's are numbered. Tell me, Ted. What are you going to do when you find the Sasquatch? Well, I'm going to bring him home. And the first thing I'm going to do with the Sasquatch is I'm going to teach him how to play the video game and how to use the toilet. I see. So when you capture the Sasquatch, you're going to hog tie him throw him in the back of our truck and we're going to take him home and we're going to teach him to play video games and we're going to teach him we're we going to teach him to play Minecraft, Ted. Possibly. Possibly. But, needless to say, we're also going to teach him to use the toilet. Is that correct? That's correct. Are we going to teach him to flush the toilet? Definitely. Are we going to teach him to wipe his dookie when he's done doing the business? That's exactly right. Fascinating, Ted. It's almost a scientific endeavor. But it's not the return. So you might say that we're doing this for, for the greater Love good of it. science. For the greater good of science. Is that correct, Ted? Probably. Probably, most likely, maybe, for the greater good of science. That's right. All right, we've been talking to Ted Savage. We hope you learned something from it. I know I did. Good night.